to show you how to make scrunchies. So I've already done a DIY scrunchie, but that was for hand sewing. This is a sewing machine tutorial. I'll be doing it with thin elastic. I use wide elastic in my scrunchies, but I'll be using thin elastic in this tutorial and they are super easy to make, so follow with me. <laughs> Today I'm gonna show you how to make scrunchies with a sewing machine. So usually I would use my rotary cutter, but for this, I'm just going to use my scissors. First, I'm going to measure out about 10 centimeters, maybe a little bit more, depending on how thick you want your scrunchie. You can either have your fabric completely laid out or you can fold it in half and then half again. It just makes it a bit easier to cut. So I'll cut straight across there in a straight line. You can also use a rotary cutter for this. Once that strip's cut, you can do maybe about 45 centimeters. Sometimes you can do 50 depending on what sort of fabric you're using. I usually just do 45 centimeters because I make bows out of the part that I've cut off. Once I've got the strip that's about 10 by 45 centimeters, fold it in half with the pretty side on the inside. I'm using the Alna Experience 550 today, I won't show you how to thread it, but if you do want a video on how to actually use a sewing machine, just let me know in the comments below and I'll consider doing one in the future. Change the stitch length to about three or 3.5. I'm just gonna sew down the side, leaving about five millimeters from the edge. Just make sure you get both the front side and the back side of the material when you do sew. So we've just finished sewing up the side. Now we're gonna try and flip it. I usually use a pole, but for this tutorial, we'll use a safety pin. Just pop it in like maybe a centimeter, or a centimeter and a half, because you don't wanna put it too close to the edge, otherwise you might uh, rip the fabric, depending on what fabric you're using. And what you wanna do is you wanna push that in and you want to hold with this hand. So make sure you don't move this thumb and the finger that are holding the end of that uh, safety pin. And we just want to wiggle that up. And now I'm going to, with this thumb, I'm going to hold that there. And with this one, I'm going to just pull that back. I'm going to hold the end, so I'm going to feel, so the end's there. I'm going to hold that with this thumb and I'm going to move this thumb now. Just gonna wiggle that down all the way. So now I've got the end and I'm gonna grab this with this thumb. I'm not gonna move that thumb and I'm gonna move this one instead. I'm just gonna pull that all the way down. So now it's all flipped. It's my elastic. I'm going to cut 20 centimeters. So just so you can see, so that's 20 centimeters there. So we'll Cut that 20. And we're gonna put the safety pin back in. So don't put it too close to the edge because it will rip the elastic. So we'll pop it in about a centimeter and a half. And then we're gonna wanna pop it in. So I just kinda like jiggle that in there until I get up to about here. So for this step, you can use another safety pin to pin through the fabric and through the elastic right here. And that way you don't have to worry about where you place your hands. But for this tutorial, I'll show you how to do it with just one safety pin. So we're always gonna leave one finger on here. You don't wanna let go of this, otherwise the elastic will shoot right up and you'll have to start again. We're gonna use these fingers here. Place your fingers in a, like around here. I'm gonna feel for the safety pin. So the safety pin's sitting around here. I'm gonna have pressure here, just to hold that where it is, which that's at the bottom of the safety pin as well. So that's where the safety pin's sitting. So I'm just gonna see my fingers there and with my thumb, move the fabric down. So that's probably as far it's gonna go. So now I'm just going to pull. And with these two fingers, I'm just gonna gently pull it down. And I'm gonna seat my fingers back there and keep wiggling and gently pull. So notice how I never took my fingers off this part here, because if you do, the elastic will shoot all the way up and follow this one. So never take your fingers off unless you have a safety pin there. So I'm going to grab the other end of that, take this off. And what we wanna do is tie it like a balloon. So we're gonna wanna pop it around the finger like that make a gap and then we're going to turn it around and pop it through that gap that little circle and you don't want it too close to the ends because otherwise when you pull it it will come straight off i don't use thin elastic in my scrunchies i use elastic like this 
Uh, but just for this tutorial, this is really how a lot of other people make their scrunchies is using six millimeter braided elastic. We wanna make sure that the seam runs around the outside. And by seam, I mean the part that we've sewn. So you can tell that's where the seam is. So just wanna make sure that that's running around the outside the whole way around. So I'm gonna use this side. What you wanna do is just fold about a centimeter, a centimeter and a half inside itself. So if we open that up, see how we're just folding that inside. And we do that to make it so it has a nice edging. Because if we just put it over like this onto the side, you'll have all the fraying bits and it won't look very nice. We're going to wanna pop that knot in there and we're gonna to wanna to pop this side inside as well. So we're going to slip that in like so. Make sure the knot's quite far away from this edging because if you sew over that knot, you'll probably break your sewing needle. So we'll go back over to the sewing machine now and we're going to change the stitch length to about one millimeter. By changing this, it will just help keep the scrunchie together after continuous use. If you left it at three millimeter, it might unravel eventually. We'll just do a straight line across where we've overlapped the fabric just to join it together. And then finally, we're just gonna cut the threads off the scrunchie. I hope you guys enjoyed that tutorial. Let me know how you go in the comments below. See you guys next week.